Mercy Village Church, Pastor Paul here. Three announcements. Uh, baptism service this Sunday, uh, youth group this Sunday, and a youth service the last Sunday of June because June has five Sundays in it, and we're going to try every fifth Sunday to do a youth service. Let me tell you about those three things, baptism, service. Uh, if you uh, are uh, interested in participating in that, we need to know by Wednesday evening. So please reach out to me by Wednesday evening. Otherwise, your participation is to be there. We have, as of right now, one baptism this coming Sunday. Um, and so be there to celebrate. Uh, celebrate in two ways. One, we celebrate uh, the story of what Jesus is doing in the life of the person who is being baptized. And two, as Christians, we celebrate once again as we remember what he's done in our lives. And we see that picture of being dead to sin and raised to newness of life through the finished work of Jesus on the cross. Beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Can't wait to celebrate uh, with uh, everyone on Sunday. Youth group as well. It's the first and third Sunday typically of the month. And so this coming Sunday is the first Sunday of the month. So we'll have youth group. And then in June, something uh, different. Uh, it'll be the first time we've tried to do it. Don't even know exactly what it's going to look like yet, but the fifth Sunday of June, June is a month with five Sundays, we will have a youth engaged service. Um, so uh, we're still figuring out what that looks like, but our young people will be participating in the service in some uh, meaningful ways. And so uh, keep that on your calendar and be there to uh, celebrate that with us. Um, and then this coming Sunday, we're going to close out the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, together, we are going to um, be in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 through 29, and we're going to come to an end uh, of the Sermon on the Mount section of the book of Matthew. And I absolutely can't wait. It is a call kind of to choose the wide gate and a you know, path that leads to destruction or a narrow gate, uh, a call that, that leads to life, uh, a call to either bear the right fruit or the wrong fruit, a call to build our house on the rock or to build our house on the sand. Um, and so it's this contrasting calls to do what's right, to take what we've received from the Sermon on the Mount, to apply it to our hearts and lives, and through the goodness and grace of Jesus, be true Jesus followers. Not just people who name him by name, Lord, Lord, we'll see that as well. People who just cried out, Lord, Lord, uh, but he says, depart from me, I never knew you, but instead to be true followers of Jesus who say, Lord, Lord, with our mouths, but also with our hearts and with our actions. Can't wait to share uh, in this passage together on Sunday morning. Love you guys. Can't wait for this weekend.